How you going guys? Just another quick video uh, down here in uh, Bevel and uh, if you look behind me beautiful sky there beautiful blue sky, this is another one for the chemtrails guys okay, I'm trying to keep the sun out of it <laughs> sun to be right there Whee! beautiful blue sky, no chemtrails okay, here in Brisbane very rarely have chemtrails well, I know there's a few people say there are but very rare All right, we just don't have enough people for them to worry about so if you're looking for a place to go guys, Brisbane's a good place to be. Come on down. Get out of the States. Get out of Europe. <laughs> There's nowhere worth living over there anymore. It's all radioactive. Okay. Uh, I'm still in the process of uh, coming up with enough money to buy a Geiger counter here. So I can check out what uh, the radioactivity levels are here. Uh, just hearing about the, uh, or seeing the, uh, uh, the, uh, uh, problems with the uh, leaves on plants over in America uh, with the uh, atomic rain as you get uh, rain happening and of course the radiation comes down lands on the plants the plants are being burnt and of course the leaves are going crazy as you see they're, they're dying they've been burnt by radiation very simple, very easy uh, Fukushima is uh, now four times more dangerous than it was uh, a couple of weeks ago uh, the Japanese are <laughs> virtually bugging out. They've had enough. They can't can't control it anymore. The Russians keep on saying they'll help. Uh, the Americans don't give a damn. Uh, you know the, the the whole thing's gone crazy. It is, after all, it's all, all American designed power plants, and they knew they were going to go this way. Uh, same with most plants around the world. They're all they're all made to blow up or melt down. The uh, simple safe plants that they have had available for 50 years. Of course, there's none of those around. Uh, they're all uh, breeder re reactors. They're all there to make plutonium uh, for war. And then, of course, what they do is use the, use the spent uh, uranium and, and uh, make uh, shell casings out of it so they can then uh, spit them everywhere and make every place radioactive. A very good way to look after the planet. Make it so radioactive, uh, so bad that nobody can live here. I think that's a good idea. And... Uh, you know, in their infinite wisdom, of course, they uh, didn't even uh, worry about uh, poisoning their own backyard. So though all those guys that have been uh, trying to poison everybody else's backyard for the last few years, the last 40 years, uh, they've now got it too. So, you know, it's in their own home and uh, they're just as dead as the rest of us. So, uh, yeah, enjoy. Uh, for those that haven't got a uh, Geiger counter yet, I think it's going to be one of the... Uh, most sought after items on the planet in the next few weeks as everybody starts buying on the net I think you'll find Geiger counters will increase in price and uh, will be very very heavily sought after worldwide uh, same with uh, radiation suits, I haven't even looked into those yet uh, like where do we get a radiation suit from? You know, we've still got the remnants of the last atomic war uh, which is the uh, outfits that the Muslims wear if you have a look at those, they, they are so, so very much like uh, radiation suits. So that's where they originally came from, back 10 to 15,000 years ago. And they uh, became part of their fashion. And they're the, they're the only, the only uh, people who've kept that fashion. But you can see it was there. So now, uh, fait accompli, we're, we're doing it again. Uh, we're going to have to go buy our own radiation suits and uh, teach our kids how to live in a radioactive world. Uh, back in those days there wasn't any, anywhere near as many people on the planet, or at least I don't think so. I could be wrong, the amount of cities that are all buried underneath the water uh, from the last flood, which of course wasn't an ice age melting, it was uh, asteroids coming into uh, our atmosphere and melting, uh, which raised the sea level by 200 feet. Uh, easily found out, easily easily researched. It uh, was never ice melting that caused the flood. Uh, no, the old story of Noah as he was told about, uh, from the uh, aliens that uh, there's uh, a lot of ice uh, meteors coming and as they come through the atmosphere of course they've vaporized and uh, eventually turned to water and come on and rain of course 40 days and 40 nights of rain is a lot of rain so there's a lot of, a lot of uh, ice that hit the planet and increased our water levels by 200 feet so Fascinating stuff happening, and wonder what's going to happen in the next three months. Uh, we've got a possible uh, meteor hitting uh, the uh, 
South United States, uh, southern parts of the United States, uh, sometime in October that I can find out. Uh, that's what FEMA is supposedly preparing for, is uh, that we're flying through the tail of a comet on the 6th and 7th of October. And of course FEMA has everything planned for, for finalisation, for ready for uh, action as of the 1st of October. The only thing I've been able to find anywhere uh, on the net, uh, anywhere else I can find uh, happening around that time is that we're flying through the tail of a comet which uh, has passed by and there could be some meteors that are going to strike the earth from there and uh, yeah, possibly uh, hit the earth, well they, they already know what's what's going to happen, they can see that on the radar as they, they just haven't told anybody. Either that or it's one of the uh, 24 uh, uh, meteorites that are coming from that uh, same cluster that uh, hit Russia in February where we had that one blow up in the, in the air in February. That was one of 20, 25, and it's only 24 now, uh, that they're tracking, and they're coming back too. So, you know, uh, yeah, lots of fun to ha happen. Uh, besides the uh, nuclear, nuclear radiation leaks, uh, the supposed uh, Middle Eastern war started by the United States uh, with, uh, of course, uh, Israeli or Jewish uh, controllers telling them to do it. Uh, as the World Bank wants control over, over Syria and of course uh, there's only three countries left that don't have the World Bank in control of it so yeah, the, Syria's one of them. It's all, all about control, that's all it's about. Anybody who's into this uh, rubbish about the uh, Americans being good and and, and uh, everybody else is bad, well <laughs> you can believe the, the fake stories if you wish. Uh, once again, there's that beautiful sky. Look at it, blue. Like, I mean, it's blue. It's a beautiful blue sky. No, no chemtrails. I'm sure that will happen soon because I'll uh, have to uh, come over here just so we can have something to talk about. But with all the things that are happening, I don't know. It's it's hard to say what's going to go in the next three months. There's so much happening, so many things going on. Uh, all your wonderful people on the internet that are uh, uh, communicating with everybody around the world, uh, who knows, There's the amount of things that are happening in the next three months is just astounding. Uh, you go on the internet, uh, Facebook, and there's like there's 30,000 things all happening at the same time, uh, most of which are uh, catastrophic, uh, and the catastrophes are yet to come, like uh, we're only just, you guys over, over Northern Hemisphere are entering your winter, uh, or will be entering winter shortly, uh, so it's going to get awfully cold. And uh, us guys here in the southern hemisphere are entering our summer. And that's not far away here because spring only lasts six weeks in Australia. Uh, we're into summer straight away. Like it's already uh, oh, good 25 plus degrees in the sun. Uh, it'll probably hit 30 degrees in the sun today. That's uh, Celsius. Uh, I'm not sure what that is in Fahrenheit, but it's reasonably hot. Our summer gets up to 45 degrees, uh, which, you know, is very hot. But uh, Brisbane is a lovely place most of the time. Uh, the last three years have been a bit a bit uh, funny with all the rain, uh, which we don't usually get uh, that much of, but we've definitely got a lot of it in the last three years. Uh, floods and all. But, uh, yeah, keep on going. Check me out on Facebook, Dieter Sogemeyer. Uh, you'll see it, you just click on the, the name. If you can get all the uh, details on, on the internet. Uh, look forward to uh, chatting with some of you. Uh, join me on Facebook, have some fun. Uh, check out the other videos I've got there. Uh, see what you like, what you don't like. Uh, if I can help it anyway, uh, give me a, give me a tingle. You know, text me. Uh, uh, write me on uh, YouTube or join me up on Facebook. Uh, it'll be fun. I love talking to everybody. And uh, the activity happening in the next three months, you've got to be involved. Uh, the the uh, joy ride. It's it's like a roller coaster ride. You know, if, uh, the trouble is we don't know what is going to happen until we get to the other end, what it's going to be like. But right now we're going through the high, uh, where all the activity is happening, and uh, we'll see hopefully in the next few weeks uh, how it goes down. All right, guys, have fun, enjoy yourselves, uh, do the best you can do anyway, uh, because the stuff that's happening, uh, I wouldn't wish on anybody. But it's happening, and the World Bank and the... Uh, Israeli controllers, the Jewish controllers are all there trying to make things happen around the planet. Uh, they've just uh, forgotten about Fukushima and the uh, radioactivity that's happening there is going to affect everybody, including them. 
unless of course they possibly have uh, enough gear, enough alternative energy systems that will alleviate the uh, radiation problem, which alternative energy does uh, have, the alternative areas has uh, devices that can do that. We can, can fix all the radiation leaks and all the radiation problems right around the planet with just a few of the toys that are available in the alternative areas, but we're not allowed to have them. Not yet, anyway. So one of the things I'm getting excited about is that because uh, they've been uh, uh, stopping the uh, alternative energy sector for so long now, over 100 years, uh, with all the fantastic things that are available, and I know they're available, I've been researching them for 40s, uh, all the things that are available on this planet and have been available for 100 years now. Tesla was marvellous with the stuff he had. And we can fix it all. We are able to fix everything. Every problem we've got worldwide, we can fix now. No worries at all. But until they are finally want, allowing us to have that information and have those, that technology, we won't see it. And this is the uh, tipping point. This is where the only choice they have in the next six months to two years is the alternative energy area. It is the only choice. All the other areas are going to be gone, like radio, radioactivity is, is going to be poisoning the whole planet. Uh, the nuclear reactors, yeah, bye-bye. You know, Toyota have had cold fusion available for 20 years, but of course they haven't been allowed to use it. Uh, cold fusion reactors, they could have had 20 years ago, the cold fusion uh, power supplies. But of course, they don't want us to have them. Anyway, I'm going to go. I'm rambling on now. You guys have fun. Talk to you again soon. Love yous. Bye.